Hey friends, what is up? It's Krim and welcome to today's video. If you're new around here, also welcome to the channel. Like many streamers and YouTubers and other content creators, I'm sure, I get a lot of questions regarding my UI. And one of the add-ons that is an integral part to mine is the Tell Me When add-on. In today's video, I'll be going over how this add-on works, what it does, how it compares to other similar add-ons out there, most notably weak auras, and at the end I'll go over how to work this add-on very briefly. Let's get straight into this add-on spotlight for the Tell Me When add-on. So what exactly does Tell Me When do? Well, this add-on allows you to track a whole range of things from spell cooldowns, buffs, debuffs, and resources, just to name a few. And it allows you to track those by means of icons or bars or a combination of both if you so desire. However, let's address the elephant in the room. There's already an add-on that does all of this and so much more in the form of weak auras. It even has a much larger user base and a website dedicated to sharing these auras between players as well. Weak Auras has an incredible amount of options and depth, and I think that is where the main difference lies between Weak Auras and Tell Me When. Weak Auras has got so many options that if you are just looking to start a tracker for something easy, it may seem a bit overwhelming at first. Tell Me When is much more user friendly when it comes to just wanting to track a simple spell cooldown or debuffing your target for example. I have to note that you can also share Tell Me When profiles relatively easily, there's just not a website dedicated to sharing this specifically. Let's now move into the making of a simple Tell Me When if it really is that easy and I'll talk you guys through it. So let's have a look at how easy it really is to set up one of these Tell Me When trackers. And for this example I've decided I want a marked for death tracker because I don't have one yet and I'm going to be needing it when I use this talent. To bring up the options, you simply type forward slash TMW, and if you use a fresh profile, it will look like this with the four buttons in the middle. When you right-click an icon, it will take you straight to the icons options, but first we're going to look at the group itself. We're going to call it MFD, marked for death, and as you can see on the left here, you can also make these groups appear depending on your role and your spec. We'll just set this to Outlaw DPS for now because that's what we happen to be in. The row under this with rows and column sliders allow you to increase the number of things you can track as you can see right here. But for us we only need the one button because all we want to know is a marked for death. But as I said if you right click the icon it will take you to the icons options. You then click the drop down menu and there's a whole bunch of things that you can choose to track but we just want to track a spell cooldown. Now as soon as you start typing in this particular box here, there will be a list on the right that matches what you've typed so far and 9 times out of 10 what you are looking for will be the top one because it takes into account what you want in the track and the spec and class that you are playing. For us this is of course marked for death so we just click that and that's that. You can then add a timer with a timer text as well so you can actively track the timer. And when this ability is ready we want the opacity to be at 100 so it's in our eyesight but when it's not ready we want it to be a bit lower but still visible so we can keep track of it so let's set that to 40 percent and that honestly really is that as soon as i then press mark for death here it will go on cooldown however there are some extra options that you can add so let's have a look at those now for example we only want this icon to show when we are in combat when we're outside of combat, we still want to be able to see it, but not as much. So let's add a condition that makes sure that the unit in combat, the player, which is us, is true. Now this will add an extra slider to the opacity section for when the condition is filled. So when we are out of combat, we want the opacity to be around, say, 10%. We can still see the ability, but it's not very obtrusive in our eyesight. As you can see right now, if I remove this, it is barely noticeable, but you can still track it if you look at it. On top of that, we've also decided we want to be extra aware of when this ability comes off cooldown, so we're going to add a notification. As you can see, there's again plenty of options to choose from, but we want an animation. We're going to use the while condition set passing here, which means that when something happens, this animation will play. Now for animation we decide to use the activation board animation which is the 
yellow swirly around the icon itself. We only want it to happen when the icon is shown, which is all the time, so this does not really matter. And then we just need to add a trigger condition to this. As I said before, we only want this to have the activation border when we can use the ability. So let's check here and have a look at spells and items. We are looking for the spell cooldown. And once again, as soon as you start typing in this box, a list of abilities, buffs and debuffs will come up on the right that you can pick from. Once again, the top one is the one we want. You can then change this if you want, but this is fine. If it is usable, we want the notification to appear. So let's go with all of this. And as you can see, out of combat even, it will still have the activation border. And once we get into combat, the ability will be there with the activation border until we use it, in which case the activation border will disappear and the cooldown numbers will appear instead. That is just a quick thing that we have now set up. And as I said, there's many, many things that you can use this for. I use this for pretty much all of my abilities in my main profile, which I'll get to right now. This is the main profile that I use. And as you can see, I track pretty much everything you can think of using Tell Me When because it is so easy to set up and configure to your needs. Now, outside of combat, it looks like this. And once you enter combat, it suddenly all pops into view and makes it really easy to track everything. Things start getting borders when buffs are up or cooldowns are rolling. I even use my World of Bones tracker for this as well. Now, while I am a big advocate of Tell Me When, I also really like using weak auras and I can only suggest that you use both of them in conjunction, which is what I use as well. I hope this video has been useful for you guys. Maybe you use Tell Me When, maybe you don't, but at least you know it's out there if you ever do need it. If you have enjoyed the video, please remember to subscribe and leave a like. Leave a comment if you have any questions or other comments for me. And come find me on my stream twitch.tv forward slash crimwow. You can also now find me on Twitter at crim underscore IRL. It'll all be on screen right now. I hope you guys have a lovely day and I'll see you in the next video.